Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, today's words of wisdom is novel coronaviruses are China's biological weapons. Uh, the Beijing Olympics ended on Friday 20th, and the Paralympics will start on March 4th. And the world is about to get a lot more noisy. The main concern of the world right now is whether Russia will invade Ukraine or not. However, what the world needs to be most concerned about now is the evil deeds of China. This must be stopped. In the Kelten, the Laws of Messiah, page 89, Master Oka taught us, Happy Science has repeatedly pointed out that the coronaviruses are Chinese biological weapons. Even so, this opinion has probably not become mainstream yet. But if this too is overlooked because the world continues to appease China by saying the virus occurred naturally, it leaves the door open for China to use the next thing. In other words, China knows it cannot win a nuclear war yet, so they are likely to have waged a war with something else. And now, as many of you know, Master Liu Ho Oka has called forth the perpetrators of one of the evil deeds of China, the spread of Omicron variant. Using his word, highest spiritual power. Shockingly, the fear that came forward was the guardian spirits of men one soul of Huawei Technologies, a Chinese telecom giant. Miss Wan Zhou is the deputy chairwoman and CFO of Huawei. The guardian speech of Meng Wan Zhou revealed extremely shocking details, such as the purpose of spreading Omicron variant, how it is produced, how it was spread, spread and the ultimate goal. For more information, please visit www.breakingnews-mw.com. We released the articles in 12 languages, English, German, French, Spanish, Portuguese, Hindi, Sinhala, Thai, Korean, Mongolian, Persian, and Nepali. First, we need to know who the enemy is, why and how they are attacking us. Then we can take countermeasures against them. The second is to split and deliver this truth to the whole world. Like cockroaches, evil cannot continue once it has been exposed. The third is defense. The greatest defense is faith immunity. In this Kelton, 
How to Survive the Coronavirus Recession, page 71, chapter 2. How to Strengthen Your Immunity. It is explained in detail. Even if you have read this curtain, please read it again. It covers how to strengthen your immunity, not only from the spiritual perspective, but also from a worldly perspective, making it a truly effective and safe spiritual vaccine for people in many different situations. Both the laws of Messiah and how to survive the coronavirus recession are very effective spiritual vaccine. So, first of all, I would like you to have these curtains yourself and tell your family, friends, acquaintance, people in your area, and the people you are connected through internet to buy it and read it. Please be a part of saving the world from China's evil deeds. Now let us recite Happy Sun's prayers. Lord El Cantare, Master Ryuho Oka, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven through the prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow, arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls, rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. Their spirits are immortal powers. Their spirits are immortal forces. Their spirits are real entities. Their physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. 
The great river is the symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true rules. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pan in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true rules means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true rules. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please fold this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people. And you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now, here I command. There shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirits in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, Believe in one another. The world is utopia. All of us could be the light of body set of us. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of body set of us, get together, work together, to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord e Cantare, you are the source of all light all power, all wisdom, and all love. May give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. Our Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. Our Lord, Thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts.
Prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. My guardian and guiding spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the seed of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.